I think the issue here, if I understood your question correctly, is the foreign foreign capital, mm -hmm. which has been has been net living, uh, living because it's not coming to the fixed income, fi fixed income side, and therefore you are left with a little bit of. We had more money before yes. as a capital market mm -hmm. than we have today, uh, and that presents an interesting challenge. That that's that's one. Uh, something maybe just to highlight, you don't have to necessarily answer it. Mm. But uh, I think the question is how we are pricing the fixed income securities. Are we, if you compare before COVID and now, uncertainty has, has, has increased, spiked, yes. has, it has spiked. Yeah. So should we be transacting as if there is really nothing happening? Mm -hmm. uh, is the market pricing fixed income securities correctly Appropriately. i think that's more uh, the question yeah yeah uh, well um or are we going to see the the shifts uh as we proceed uh -huh, as as uh -huh. we, we we move forward uh, like you said um how fixed income securities are priced i think it's a factor of uh, first um, expectations around interest rates mm. Uh, which have alluded to uh, what, of course, central bank is likely to do. Uh, but then, at the end of the day, it's it's just another asset that whose price will be uh, determined by demand and supply. Mm, sure. And that's ideally where we are. As much as fundamentally, um, we probably should be demanding a higher mm. discount. Mm. There's now the issue of higher demand for the same in the market mm. that doesn't honestly allow you to. Uh, factor in that premium yeah that much premium so yes i think uh, it, it might not be where it ought to be fundamentally mm. but honestly that's what market demands right mm. now mm. And, and, and that's true and um, that's why i'm sure the whole of this week the market is eagerly waiting for the mpc meeting mm. is on Friday or mm. about, so that we can get the indicator the indicator mm. around the direction mm. the market should mm. should take because it forms a very good reference around how we price our bonds if you look at the bond that has just been auctioned mm. uh, that was last week the, 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 the infrastructure bond yeah. yes, yes yes i think because of the demand there was some sort of an upward uh, pressure. Mm. But of course, you've seen what the central bank did. Mm. Out of the 68 mm. billion, mm. Mm. you know, that bid for that issue, mm. they just took 57. Yes. Just to ensure mm. that to, they to were not, uh, absolutely was it, was not it 37 or 57? 57. 57. Oh. 57. 57. 57. 57. Yeah. So it's also a message to the market yeah. that probably even at government they will try, their best, not to, try their best not to jack the interest rates up absolutely yeah. and there's no desperation mm -hmm. that will result to a spike mm -hmm. so we honestly i treat it differently uh, uh, why because i mean the f they were looking for 60 which was already an indication they had the appetite for it yes and um, i'm assuming that at the time of issue, I know there's question on um, now the tax data of the paper going forward, right? And the mere fact that the today the value date was today, mm -hmm. and the bill has not been passed, mm. then I think it's still the previous rule still apply. Mm. It's it's tax exempt for now. It's still mm. tax exempt for now. And considering that um, at the time of issue. So similar papers were trading at about 10.8, 10.9% yield, and it actually auctioned at 12%. Mm. That is a considerable spike, mm. which means market is actually was possibly pricing in the uncertainty mm. uh, over the tax details, mm. or uh, they also priced in the the, the, the increasing risk on the sovereign yeah. by the mere fact that they actually at a yeah. worse fiscal yeah. position yeah. Uh, than they were a month ago. Yeah. So there's pressure coming through. If indeed um, the paper remained tax-free and uh, parliament sort of upholds the current tax status, then two things should ideally happen. The entire yield curve should adjust upwards to reflect that uh, 100, 110 
percent basis points move on the mm. IFB mm. Uh, because the normal curve equally still has to adjust. As much as yes, IFBs are off the curve, our market always tries to adjust mm. uh, to now what the pricing should be if mm. if the effective uh, maturity for the nine year was like five mm. then ideally we are talking like five year is at 12 percent yeah so i should adjust the rest of the curve uh or rather expectation for the rest of the tenors to mm. reflect if five is um at 12 percent then for a 10 year i should mm. at least price in an additional 100 basis points yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on it Alternatively, then the IFBs have to correct south. Yeah. 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 If indeed market was pricing in the mere fact that mm. tax status mm. was going to change, mm. so there's those two sides. I think government for now has appetite mm. for the bonds, mm. uh, but you also want to not try. I mean, not to tell the markets that we are desperate and will take your money at whatever mm. uh, yield you, yeah. you throw at us. Yeah. So yeah. We, are, we are still sort of, you know, uh, the price givers mm. uh, and the market should just try and take it. Okay. So... I think uh, government I think is in a comfortable this, position. I don't think so, honestly. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, the mere fact that you're losing tax through this incentive, so you're losing taxes on two fronts, yeah. the incentives and the mere fact that economic activity is so much highly less. likely investors will demand and higher yield. Exactly. And yeah. at the same time, you, you, exp you can't really cut down on your expenditure, you mm. just reallocate mm. uh, towards fighting COVID and limiting its economic impact mm. and actually reducing expenditure. So you're ideally dealing with a wider deficit, mm. uh, which means you're borrowing it will go up and uh, like I said it's not the time to go into the external market yeah. right now so and so this is the increased, only case. Incre increased demand for domestic yes and uh, perhaps borrowing. maybe the NSC should help them maybe structure yeah. a longer term facility as you alluded to a longer term facility that doesn't necessarily bring significantly increase their short term cost of funding yeah uh, instead of them just coming back to the market with papers that are lucrative or what mm. we know markets mm. really mm. want.